I am currently trying to use the Solaris Labs mask, the LED one, every single day for 30 days and see what happens and then take it above there for 60 days and then try for 90 days and see if there are any results because I don't know if it works and I'm very skeptical of these things. I don't want people wasting their money. Then there's like another expensive one in the multiple hundreds and, <clears throat> me, and multiple thousands. So I don't know if I should just go to the actual med spa and get my face laser because it's guaranteed a higher quality laser in general. So I'm wondering if that's worth trying all this time, trying out this product with all this time and effort. Should I shell out the $300 to get a quick session that's like a minute long, actually works? Does that actually save your time? Or should I use more than $300 worth of my time to see if this one product that's $150 if it works? We're just gonna ask the expert my dermatologist or med spa facialist what they think So then I'm going to drain it out. This just help, helps the, uh, the soap exit the, the material. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. I just filmed a really long, what I realized was an eight minute rant about what's going on in my life. And I thought, you know what, all my problems right now, I need to work at, I need to meditate, I need to pray, I need to exercise, I need to take care of myself. And I'm very overwhelmed right now. So I deleted that and instead I'm just gonna update you quickly. It's daylight savings. I woke up feeling not so well and not because I feel sick, not because I feel tired, but because I feel like everything is off. Uh, daylight savings, we lost an hour of sleep, so spring forward and we... Oh my goodness. My office is a huge mess right now. This was open, by the way, I just closed this so it doesn't look freaking crazy. These are forms the cat knocked down. These are things I have to sell. These are things, more things, things, books, books, books. And I still have to, I have to re-clean and re-iron, re, -iron, re uh, steam everything. I have yet to, oh my golly, I have yet to try this. This company called Active Iron sent this to me. They have the cutest little box. However, you know, if you've been following me that I absolutely roast supplement companies because I'm a very integrative health oriented person. When it comes to being healthy, I feel like you should do the fundamentals, nail eating properly, sleeping, exercising as much as you can, uh, daily if you can and then three times four times a week if you can uh, make time because it takes 20 minutes to work out uh, You can work out for five minutes. People don't do it. They say I don't have the time They don't make the time is the truth because you have hours and hours to watch Netflix You have an hour to oh, it's my only time I turn off my brain I don't believe in turning off your brain in ways that aren't good for you <laughs> people say I want to watch this movie that is full of junk and people ingest a lot of really bad content rather than content that's good which is why i try to put out as much content as possible that is not garbage that you can at least learn something or find something and i am yet to try this and i'm gonna roast them no, i'm just kidding i'm not gonna roast them but i've been known for roasting supplement companies because i don't believe that supplements are the main thing they're supplementary which is why they're called supplements i believe that you should get your iron from real food if you don't eat meat i just had a ton of liver yes uh, this past weekend i went to this place called winchell's and it's a sports bar with all these different sports going on depending on the season and there are all these screens but it's also kind of like a diner so it's like a denny's i think it's home owned and there are 
a lot of newspapers and press printed press that they have from back in the day and still today that um, supports a lot of University of Kentucky which is known for its basketball team Finchels, fantastic place try it out if you're ever here for that really good American homegrown feel I love this place I cannot tell you how much the people are wonderful everybody's so warm and the food is delicious I ate the chicken liver for three days and which is why I did not try the active iron I saw this on my way to Winchell's I picked up the parcel took it inside and I did not try this especially since the fact that I had so much liver so much iron okay can you tell me all the weird things about iron that companies try to sell you on because you know that I have iron supplements especially with active iron it's like $30 a bottle for this one I had it was $6 for two because iron is 65 milligrams 100 tablets <laughs> some myths about iron oh, yes well the fastest way to get iron is a blood transfusion okay obviously you don't want because that's going to be very last minute and then the second fastest way is IV iron infusion. And so say you're going for surgery and you need to get your iron, your hemoglobin level up. Um, you don't need the blood transfusion straight away, so you go for the IV iron. Um, then another way is just dietary iron. Um, and that can either be in the form of a multivitamin or it can be in the form of um, uh, an iron tablet or it could even be in the form of food. To be honest, if you eat a proper diet, you don't need to supplement with iron. If you're a teenage girl, you might do, but a multivitamin is fine. I don't really think there's much difference with what companies say in the delivery. I think that it's, it's a lot of um, like a kind of marketing spiel. Same with um, acetaminophen. You can buy like fast acting acetaminophen uh, because it's in a liquid form. But as soon as you eat it, it goes into a liquid form anyway. So there's not much difference. Um, you're talking a couple of seconds, um, and I wouldn't bother paying any extra. I would just get a bog standard iron tablet if you need one. But I would go to see your family physician first and have them run your iron levels. Uh, the easiest one to run is hemoglobin. If that's normal, then you should be okay. Okay? He says, agree, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Agree. Agree. Thanks for the greens, Jake. I wanted to get an expert to weigh in on iron, so there you have it. Don't spend $30 on iron. <laughs> Six times less gut irritation and clinically proven to increase iron levels. So that's the whole point of it. And it's, I don't know, 20 something dollars or $30. I just read on the back that this contains milk. I'm really disappointed in this company. They're making me do homework just to take a vitamin. They're making me take a vitamin for a month without having done any research on my channel. Okay, don't buy this company. <laughs> That's all I have to say. They're, they're selling you. Just as a heads up, iron really constipates you. And if you take too much, your body just pushes it all out at the same time. So it's a total waste. Same with many other supplements. Uh, so I don't understand why people are obsessed with them and it's just expensive pee. So directions for use, women over 12 years, take one active iron for women capsule daily and take one active multivitamin for women tablet daily. Take with water or fruit juice. Active iron for women's non-constipating formula is gentle enough to take on an empty stomach. Don't waste time on people who just want your money. Cheers.